Come on, I want to see this tape. Let's go. <laughs> Today we're in Kuala Lumpur, the capital of Malaysia, or should I say, the outskirts of the city. The vegan eat that we're trying today is intrinsic to the food culture of this great capital. And like the landmark behind us, its origins can be traced all the way back to India. Mm, I like Indian food. Yeah? I'm ready to try some roti chennai. to work up a heck of an appetite walking up and down those 272 steps though. Oh, nice detail Mike. So the restaurant we're going to be going to when we get back to the city is near Chinatown and that's where we'll be trying today's dish. Yeah, Roti Chennai. And it usually consists of an Indian flatbread with either some fillings, sometimes some dips on the side or a bit of both. So it's quite, quite different. Yeah, it's usually served as a breakfast dish but as our body clocks are all but non-existent at this point, we're hoping it's going to be just as tasty for lunch. I mean, you know, bread and spicy stuff. What's not to love? Especially when it's vegan. After getting back from KL Central, we hopped on the metro and arrived here at Pasar Seni Station. We're now on our way to the Hungry Tapia, a vegetarian restaurant here in Kuala Lumpur where almost everything is vegan. What's a tapia? You know, the jungle salty boy. They've got a picture of one on their logo, I'll show you. Anyway, their opening hours are a little bit strange so it's worth checking them out in advance. But on a Friday like today, they're open from 12 to midnight. Come on, I want to see this tapia. Let's go. <laughs> interpretation of the dish. The roti chennai itself is just the bread and often it will come sometimes stuffed, sometimes with dips, sometimes both, so it can be quite diverse. And look, the tapir is right here. I think it's pretty cute, don't you? and then a tempeh sambal. So the way you're supposed to eat this is to rip a bit off and dunk it in. So that's what I'm gonna do. Get a little bit of that and I'm gonna dunk it in the sambal. I love sambal. It's often too spicy for me but I really like it anyway. Look at that. Mm. Yeah that's good. It's quite sweet. Oh, I was going to tell you it wasn't too spicy, but I found the kick now. It's got quite a kick at the end. It's really good. Right, so after watching Kyra have some of that, I can't wait. So, it's time to eat. Cheers. Cheers. So 
we've just left the restaurant and generally the whole place was just absolutely beautiful. The aesthetic, the neon signs, the music, everything was really nice. Obviously you do pay a little bit more of a premium for that, but it was well worth it. The food was fantastic. Oh, so good. The roti chanai, I'll be honest, I wasn't actually expecting to like it that much. I was thinking maybe it'd be a little bit boring, like how much, how flavoursome was it going to be? It blew my mind. It was so good. All three elements were just perfect. Oh, I could eat it again and again. To go in a bit more detail there, I completely agree with Kyra. I didn't know what to expect. I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I did. But the flavours in the bread, it's almost a little bit sweet. And to be honest, it's delicious. I could eat that all day. You know, you could eat it on its own, but then with the, with the dips, the sambar is slightly spicy, but also sweet and almost like a jam. And the dal was just great too. The whole thing was fantastic. Uh, to be honest, I wish we'd had twice the twice yeah. the amount, double the portion maybe. Definitely. Yeah, it was so good. So we have one more video coming from Malaysia. Um, and do you know what? We're really excited for this one. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And in the meantime, eat your greens. greens.